While Bigfoot has been spotted all over Canada and the USA, in every single state except Hawaii, when you look into the stories, not everyone is necessarily seeing the same type of creature. I've found out different types of Bigfoot in North America can be broken down into four groups. I'd like to note, since this is strictly North American Sasquatch, foreign fur beasts like the Yeti and Yowie will not be included. Type 1 is what is known as the Paddy type. This is what most people picture when they think of Bigfoot. Upwards of 8 feet tall, weighing half a ton, looking like something that cross between a human and a mountain gorilla, deep set eyes, and a very prominent sagittal crest. They're typically the most friendly of the four types, which is good, considering how absolutely massive they are. Their prodigious size, even for a Bigfoot, is owed to their habitat. Paddies are typically found farther to the north, but a cold environment makes their larger bodies and denser fur a necessity. The paddy name comes from the Patterson-Gimlin footage, where the two men captured a female Type 1 Bigfoot on film. In terms of diet, they're said to be omnivorous, but with more of a leaning towards fruits and veggies. The Type 2 Bigfoot is what is known as the wood booger. Unlike Type 1s, they t usually live in the south, are smaller in size, at around 7 feet, and are much more aggressive. While paddy types look similar to gorillas, Type 2s are more like chimpanzees. The name wood booger is a shorthand for woodland boogeyman, a name they were given, due to rumors of them carrying children off into the forest. In terms of diet, wood boogers are similarly omnivorous, but with more leaning towards eating meat, often being responsible for disappearing livestock. They are said to have excellent night vision, which no doubt aids in their hunting. For as aggressive as wood boogers can be, comparing them to a type 3 is like comparing a puppy to a werewolf. Type 3 Sasquatches, or Gugwis, as they're more commonly known, are by far the most dangerous type to encounter. In addition to males regularly reaching the double digits in height, they are completely carnivorous. A gugui is never one to order the salad. Their appearance is mostly baboonish, with a prominent snout and long, razor-sharp fangs. Gugwis are extremely territorial and violent towards any animal they meet, be it wildlife, human, or even fellow Sasquatches. Unlike the other types of Bigfoot that typically travel in groups, of multiple families, Gogwis will only gather to mate or fight, when in isolation they are said to live in the mountains. Beyond hunting for food, they will kill bears to wear their pelts for warmth during the winter, or perhaps to serve as a warning to any animals who want to challenge them. The Native Americans have stories of them eating humans, but these tales mysteriously drop off around the time Europeans with guns arrived on the continent. Parallels are drawn between the Gugui and the Dogman, given that they're both highly aggressive cryptids, and the Gugui's snout and large canines give it something of a werewolf-like appearance. Finally, we have Type 4s, which are called Relic Hominids. On the sliding scale of human-like to primate-like appearance, they lean heavily towards human. Typically sighted in the northeast, they are small for a Bigfoot, but still around 7 feet tall. They have the massive bodybuilder-like physiques, like the other three, but are much less hairy. Type 4s are said to be the smartest type of Bigfoot, building shelters and using tools. Its intelligence is likely owing to their heavily human genetic makeup. In terms of aggression, Type 4s vary the most, which seems to be a result of a higher capacity for reason.